When you are committed to something, you're willing to do whatever uh, it, it takes to make that thing happen. If you're, if you're committed to saving souls, that's what you're all about. If you're committed to your wife, you're there to make sure that she gets everything that she needs, make sure she keeps a smile on her face. So that word means that you are, for lack of a better term, down for the cause. You'll do whatever it takes to make that event take place. You gotta commit, you gotta be in service. You gotta be giving praise, you gotta be praying. You know, you gotta be out there helping, being a godly person, being an imitator of him. You gotta commit yourself like you're in a relationship. Commitment is doing what you said you're gonna do long after you feel like doing it. That's to me, I continue to just do what I need to do even when I don't want to do it or feel like doing it. Commitment is discipline, um, sticking to what you believe in and just uh, reaching for it. Commitment to me looks like setting a goal and achieving it and sticking to it no matter what obstacles may come your way. If you're committed to someone, you're giving your all to them no matter what. Um, if you're committed to a task or committed to a venture, committed to some sort of idea, you know, you're going to put forth all of your effort to make sure that your goal is met. And especially when we're thinking of relationships, a commitment is most necessary for anything to be beneficial. Commitment is just basically saying that you're going to follow through with something that, um, that you said, I'm going to do this, like, such as being committed to Christ. It doesn't matter what happens or what storms come in your life, you're going to just keep driving towards the goal. There must be commitment. I need a person to understand that a part of you growing in Christ is you need to build relationships with people in the body of Christ and you have to have a long haul mentality. I need this person to intentionally increase uh, their personal and congregational bond with Christ and with their personal obligation to his work. I have to be in relationships and I have to be a vessel. I've got to be someone who's used by God to do the work of God. Yeah.